Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, and hopefully with a exciting new review for you guys. Like I said, I'm a uh, Xbox video game centric channel. I'm very heavily into pop culture. This will be a new episode of Toys in My Closet, and so I want to continue in the trend by reviewing uh, more video game centric figures. Yes, I do get outside my element and review other types of uh, figures and, and toys of other toy lines, but uh, in this particular case, I want to try to uh, do more, uh, like I said, video game centric reviews. I'm your host, Hebot, and I'm very glad for you to join me. And today, as you can see in front of you, I'm going to review uh, Beto, Bayonetta, uh, Play Arts Kai's uh, series of the Bayonetta uh, figures uh, of the game Bayonetta. Uh, for those who may not know, Bayonetta is a very highly uh, pop culture pop culture regarded game made by a company and developer named Platinum Games, and it was published and owned. Uh, create the, the the creation of, of of this character was created by Sega and developed by Platinum Games. Uh, these figures came out. Uh, I want to say about uh, maybe eight years ago. I was lucky enough to pick them up at the time when they came out. This is when Play Arts Kai was uh, bringing up and stepping up their game as far as the quality of uh, their figures, having better quality control. As far as the paint job, uh, you know, the over oversprays that they do, the joints and the limbs, accessories, uh, and they still were doing the, uh, you know, traditional bubble card uh, boxes at the time instead of the flip fronts where they open and have... Uh, you know, production shots and things of that nature. So we're going to get into this review. I hope you stick with me. Hopefully it won't be too long. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so give me a minute. I'll be right back. We're going to take a quick pause. So really quick, we're going to get into this, uh, starting with the actual, uh, as you can see here, the actual um, packaging. Uh, the, it, this packaging says right down here, very nice, detailed. Uh, it says Bayonetta. A Play Art Sky action figure. Um, it has a nice uh, uh, production shot here, as you can see from, uh, uh, hopefully, it's coming in clear enough, uh, from Bayonetta herself. And then it has some more beautiful production shots here, or exciting production shots, if you will, uh, of Bayonetta. Um, as you can see here, it says, uh, uh, over 27 points of articulation and as you see here it says number one number one and then number two we have Jean or Jeannie right um, which is supposed to be her sister for those who may not know in the Bayonetta game uh, the Bayonetta is basically a witch protagonist uh, with powers where you see her suit is almost like a symbiote suit like uh, think of it uh, like Venom but it's made out of her hair and with her suit, uh, she actually can transform and metaphor metamorphosize herself, metamorph metamorphosize herself. Sorry about that. Metamorphosize into different creatures, uh, uh, traps to like how you kill characters. Like one trap, she puts characters that she fights and angels that she fights uh, that are supposed to be like evil angels uh, in the world of Bayonetta. That um. She'll turn into like a guillotine, and the guillotine will cut their heads off and destroy them. Um, and it's all done with her hair, or like a big, huge dragon that eats up other bigger creatures, and you know, and chomps them right up because it becomes really huge and big. Uh, as you see, other still shots here. It doesn't have a synapsis, or if it does, it's here in uh, maybe Japanese, Chinese lettering, or, or Japanese writing, or whatever. I'm sorry, I don't know if that was coming in there uh, as you see here uh, so I don't know how to translate it uh, again the other side Bayonetta and then you know the front and this here is supposed to be like uh, some painting just to kind of show you what the hair looks like when it's metamorphosizing into a certain adamant object or, uh, or, or a real object that's uh, materialized uh, and then again that's Bayonetta's box herself and again same thing with uh, Genie uh, Jeannie or Jane, or I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but uh, I hope not. Uh, same thing, Play Arts, then on this side, a uh, picture of her, 
stating the number, number two. Um, some nice production shots of her there, as you can see, and there, and there. Uh, and again, 27 points of articulation, a nice shot there, and a nice shot there. Now, what you will notice is right here, you see here, that little glasses that she had on were glued on to her, right? They came like that uh, with the mold, right? And when I first got them, that's what I was trying to say about quality control, how they had Play Arts Kites. And a lot of other companies had kind of like that <clears throat> issue with certain plastics like NECA and a lot of NECA figures where after time they would get very hard and brittle and kind of would break. Um, and for some reason I grabbed it the wrong way and broke. I kind of glued it from one side and, and had it for quite some time in display uh, in my gallery uh, at home. But with time from cleaning, when I took them out to maintenance them and take and clean them to put them back to display, it kind of, I lost it and I don't have it anymore. So you'll notice that indiscrepancy. So it's not a promotional shot mistake from the box. Uh, this is exactly how she did come. It's just, I lost mine. So um, let's get into the figures. Give me a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so let's get into this. So what I'm going to do is, first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to my friends, uh, Master Chief and Sir Merkham. Uh, basically, I'm really doing this review because they kind of requested it for me. Very good friends of mine that I met through Xbox Live and the video game social media. And I love them to death and they're very good friends and uh, they like uh, it, my collections that I've shown so far. And they kind of requested me for me to do this. So what we're going to do is, since Bayonetta is kind of the meat of this review, we're going to start off with Jean, or Jeannie, if you will. And here is uh, Jeannie in her, you know, in all her glory. We'll kind of move Bayonetta over to the side there, right? So that we can use the space. And uh, as you can see, Jean has, you know, her... her, her her uh, traditional uh, hand 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 pistols that come with these very nice uh, uh, hand pistols you can see there hand pistols that are uh, very highly detailed. Um, see if it focuses in. There you go. Um, very highly detailed uh, pistols. Uh, very stylized. With a nice metal a gun metal and a white holster, and some nice inscriptions engravings that are supposed to be in gold. They come with a real chain uh, bracket holding these kind of feathery like, uh, you know, it's very plasticky, a nice soft plastic. And it has a silhouette that goes from white, yellow to kind of a lavender. I don't know if you can see it here on camera, uh, but it's very nicely. It's Painted and airbrushed in, uh, which is supposed to be, she comes with two of them. Uh, here, here's the other one, obviously, same thing for the left and right. And then the gimmick of this uh, game was that these girls are very acrobatic, they're witches, um, and they uh, even can fight with like a gun kata style of martial arts in the same vein as Equilibrium or maybe the Matrix, and they're put guns and holster them on their boots as you can see here and their guns you actually latch them on they come right off and you just kind of pull off they have a little rigid thing there where you can right there where you can put them on as you can see and same thing with this side you just slide it off so basically it comes with two four sets of guns and then this is her in her mold here herself Trying to see if I can get it through. These player archives are, are very, very, pr very, very pretty. Very pretty uh, scopes, if you, if, you know, in, and designs. Her, her face, as you can see, very detailed. You can see there, these are the two little red, uh, the two little red uh, <laughs> legs for the glasses that kind of broke. As you can see here. She either has a beautiful makeup on. The likeness of the character is really, really, really well done. Uh, really well done. Let me see if this will help a little bit. Um, 
There you go. Really well done. Because it's kind of bright in here. I don't know if it's maybe too bright. Uh, with the makeup, very well also as well. The lipstick and the sculpt in the hair. And the paint job is phenomenal. And, you know, she has her uh, emblem here, which is a, like a, kind of like a, one of those brushes, that those clip brushes, things you put in, clip-ons on your clothes. And she has the fur coming here from, it's supposed to be the illusion is coming out from inside here, the jacket rolling over on the outside. Here's her hands, which is gloves. You see the very nice detail here coming up, stitching and little buttons that button up her piece suit because it's like a all tight on them. It's supposed to be like one tight, almost like a swimsuit or, a, or, or like a scuba diving type suit. There's a beautiful little bow back here, as you can see. Very nice. Bring it a little closer, hopefully. And then look at that detail in the back of her jacket. She has a wonderful... Uh, it's like almost like an engraving of, a, of some type of uh, marking right under, on the top of the suit or jacket, if you will, with some white coming down here and in the front and the and on her right leg is coming down the white and then in the back of the left is coming down uh, so you know um she's uh basically essentially the sister of of uh, bayonetta in the uh in the game and she's supposed to be like an evil, an evil protagonist. Um, let me stand her up. Her articulation too is here. Like you see, she has a, a double hinge, which is painted in white to match with the, you know, the that uh, stitching in the front that looks almost like uh, leathery stitching, but with like another material. If you can see it, I don't know if you guys can see it there. There you go. Uh, to match it, which is really nice, uh, even though you can still see it, but all the way to the top, then she ha you bring it down, and the joints on these figures, even though I've had them for quite some time, they're still very tight, and over here, oh boy, uh, that just happened, I think it either broke or moved out on me, one or the other, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure, anyway, a ball joint here, Yep, I think it might have came out of place and cracked on me. Sorry, people. Uh, yeah. Yep, that that just happened. Oh, boy. So, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll deal with it in a little bit. Uh, you have movement here. And it's supposed to rotate. That's what I was trying to show you. Um, like that. And like this. Forward and backwards. She even has some detailing there in the bottom of her. Bottom part of her pants, of the suit pant, and uh, she has the uh, waist, and then she has the uh, upper, th uh, upper, I guess would be upper torso. She has the rotation in the in the head, full rotation, uh, kind of moves up and down, up up that much down that much not not really a lot a lot of range but good enough to pose the ball joint on the shoulder uh swivel on the upper top here on the shoulder obviously a rotation a single joint i believe here on the elbow and then the wrists are also in like a type of ball joint but you can't move them forward and backwards just a around in a circle so very good uh, very good uh, yeah I gotta fix this thing here this is terrible uh, very good range of articulation um, again that 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 you just saw there happens because of, of what I was telling you guys earlier the the, the actual uh, plastic with time gets brittle and when it gets brittle 
it kind of, that's what I was talking about, the quality control, it kind of ends up breaking on you after a while, even though uh, it, 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 you would think it wouldn't because these figures back then were still pretty pricey, even though it was comparable to now. It's, they're, they're not even close. I think I paid for both of these figures was uh, uh, $45, and now you they're going anywhere upwards in the market of like 150, 200. Bayonetta goes as high as like 300 because they're very rare. And Play Arts, Kai has the tendency to do figures and they'll do one run and won't do them again. Uh, that's why people are doing bootlegs of them. It's again with an extra set of hands. As you see here. There you go. In red. This is the left and this is the right. So that's pretty much what she brings. Uh, that's what she brought. Uh, yeah, so you know, that's Jean. A very, she's very beautiful. Very beautiful figure. Nice sculpt. Very authentic. And the likeness is fantastic. I, I really enjoyed this figure. I think it's immaculate. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I'm being honest. I, I, I'm very upset with the quality control that Play Arts Kai had at that point back then. Because of the plastic not being, uh, I guess, long term or sturdy enough to uh, be long term, so so far I have a, a breakage now with her foot, which I'm gonna have to fix, and I lost because her glasses because it had a breakage, and they were so small I couldn't find them. So we'll we'll just move her now to the side, and we'll go into uh, you know the meat of the of the review for many. Uh, which is, you know, obviously, your girl here, Bayonetta. Okay, and Bayonetta is probably one of the most authentic and prettiest female figures that I've ever seen casted in plastic. Especially, uh, you know, with the detail, amount of detail they put in her, and the likeness, and just the aesthetics, everything, everything about her. Uh, this, this stand here... I actually bought, it's made out of wood, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm going to push her here to the side real quick so I can show you guys the stand. Um, it's made out of wood, very nice on the bottom. It has like a satin, burgundy, satin, woodish type of finish. This is metal, and then you just obviously, you know, lower this, lower it up. And I bought this separate in uh, Michael's. The arts and crafts store because the play arts guys figures back then didn't bring stands, so this here it was about four dollars, maybe three, but very good quality, as you can see. And here, it's made out of real wood. Beautiful, beautiful uh, little stand, and it works. It serves its purpose. So here we go. Uh, here's Bayonetta. Okay, let me put it up in all her glory. Oh boy. Uh, yes, here you go. Here's Bayonetta. The, the, the meat of, of this review, like I said. Uh, immediately when I saw her be announced and I saw her promotional shots, I said, I have to pick this figure up. I'm a big Sega fan as well. So I was like, well, I got to get her because it's a Sega character as well. I love the game even though many people back then didn't really support it, and that's why they end up making Part 2 uh, exclusive to the Nintendo, because they were the only ones willing to take the chance to make the sequel with Platinum Games, obviously, and Sega's permission. There's her head sculpt right there. Very, very nice. Look at the detail in her band that holds up her hair. And these are like little charm things that she, hold, that she has in her hair. Right there, if you can see, in gold, like little chain mails that are attached to her hair. And like I said, it's her hair. Holy crap, Jesus Christ, I hate when that happens, sorry. This is the, this is the, the deep, this is the, the hair, her hair is the powers that, that she has that allows her to metamorphosize and turn into different things and even inside the collar if you'll notice it has the detail I 
I'm trying to get it to focus, people. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, focus. Ah, here we go. This is as good as it's going to get. It's, uh, you see the orange in there. Her charm from the game, as y'all all know, right there. In gold. Nice breast coat. And, and, you know, and depiction of her body. and her, They're very lanky. They're kind of long in the legs. And kind of small in the top. But, but suits the characters per perfectly. Her, you know, her things here. Her belts that tie up to her, you know... Part of her other skull, which is her wings, and part of her, which is hair, part of her hair that comes out of them as well. This, they sculpted it this way because it's attached to here to give you the illusion. Her back is completely open. Her buttocks, very nicely sculpted, very nicely sculpted, as you see. And then uh, it's attached to this as well. Has all the emblems of her powers, I believe. They're all different. Moon crest, moon crest with the red circle. Then here, going down, this is supposed to be her skin. You see? All the etching and stitching. The chain mail is going down. And again, she has the same thing with her guns. This is one of her feet guns. It has a little crystal in the middle of it. I'll show you that in a minute. And her boots sculpted. She's completely... <clears throat> painted in black with some grays and maybe a little small wash of maybe of a navy blue same thing the same articulation goes to the top like this so that your posability is awesome you can do all kinds of stuff with her and then the same thing with the uh the rotation now you can put the foot uh, like in a you know any type of conjolted situation they all had felt like it and the splits, you know, they move on the top here, right on the, uh, you know, her crotch area, right on top of the thigh of the leg, where her thighs are, and a waist swivel, upper, upper torso swivel, which kind of have like a ratchet joint, and you see her gloves in white with the nice emblems on the, in, in, in the, wrist area then there's her gloves and then like in true bayonetta fashion but her hands her hands unlike the ones in jean actually have a ball joint that turn in this way like this and outwards like this jeans doesn't do that i don't know why uh it has the red inside just like up to the authenticity of her character uh so bayonetta and again another look at her face coat she even has the uh, she even has a little mold right there that she has in the game and her glasses of course she's a beautiful figure um, again very very expensive in the aftermarket so this is one of my grails uh, and I'm so lucky that I still have them uh, she comes with two hands as you see here Left and right, right? Same thing. Gloves. Nicely detailed, nicely painted and sculpting. Very subtle but effective. Really, 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 really nice. Sorry that it doesn't focus. I don't know why it does that. So the ones that go in the back, you know they are because they have only this little chain. And in the bottom, they got a little cross, as you can see. And then in the inside part here is one red ruby and one green ruby, or what looks to be blue. Very nice burg uh, bur uh, burgundy with the gold. And then uh, highlights and hints of black, like up here on top of the holster here. Then the ones that go in, no, they actually all like that. It's just these are bigger. Their size differences. I don't know if you notice one is smaller. I don't know if you can really tell, but one is smaller and one is bigger. The ones that are smaller go on her foot, feet, 
and the ones that are bigger go in her hand as you can see same thing the little chain and this one has instead of crosses it has that uh that symbol i forget what it what it stands for but yeah there you go it even has the thing to clock it back to, when you're loading it up um so you know um she comes with the two sets like this back and forth and then the two hands so i'm very lucky guys to have this figure i'm gonna stand her up again very lucky to have this figure it's a very rare piece uh when you try to look for it in the aftermarket right now it's a uh, very 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 expensive i've seen her as high as four and five or even 350 uh as as the low, lowest point so i can't really tell you guys hey go out and get her Unless you're really hardcore and have to have her because you're a fan and never knew that she existed, existed or that she was made, that's different. Uh, I could understand that. Um, and if you have the, the money to, to, you know, to spend on it, that's cool. But I wouldn't recommend for you to get her because it's a figure in the end of the day, even though it's a high-end quality piece. It's still a figure at the end of the day, and I wouldn't recommend it for that type of price. If she was only like maybe 50 bucks. 70 bucks 80 bucks because she is she stands about uh i say she stands about uh nine inches maybe 10 inches tall i don't really have a a, a cross of reference right now i'm having a really hard time standing her up which is really getting me upset but here you go there you go whatever uh you get the picture uh so you know and these are accessories, like I said. Didn't come with many accessories, but I think it's all because of the paint job and the, and the type of uh, uh, detail that went into her with all the extra, you know, paint deco or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so Bayonetta, uh, it's a beautiful figure. Like I said, if you have the extra money and you can spare it, by all means, go right ahead and do it. But I can't really recommend it in that sense. But to give the figures, uh, you know, a nice score, they're definitely at least uh, 8.59 out of 10 uh, if I was to give it a, a rating. Only problem is because of the plastic over time maybe getting brittle, it kind of takes a point and a half or a point or two, maybe two points off because that's important. You want longevity, especially with figures that you paid a lot for. Uh, luckily, I only paid 50 at the time. Uh, so yeah, that's the Bayonetta review for the Play Arts Archive and Gene, obviously, uh, as you see here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like it. Uh, give me a, a like, a, a comment, uh, share it, uh, and I'll try to bring more of these to you guys uh, the best that I can. And I hope you just enjoy them. Uh, thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video soon. Uh, I'm going to try to do something with Dragon Ball, hopefully. I uh, love you guys and, you know, to the next one.